giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. Now we're going to get into these uh, division previews for Detroit, and we're going to start with Griffin over on the Daily Division. So, Griffin, go ahead and take it away. All right. So, look at, looking at Daily, it doesn't necessarily have the strongest from around the world, but it does have an assortment of teams that have done extremely well over the seasons. So, from New England, there's 133 Burt, who was two winners, at t- or won two di- district events, and was... Uh, in the semis of the other district championships. Then there's also Big Bad Bob, who uh, won the, won an event, was the fin- a finalist at another, and then was the first seed at uh, their district champs, but unfortunately got knocked out in the famous uh, 195 knockout. Uh, then there's Fat 58 Elm City Robo Squad, which I still have no idea how the uh, winning alliance got this ro- team as a second pick. Uh, and then there's also 176 Aces High, which is a first seed finalist, first seed winner, and then the fi- one of the defeaters of 195 in the semis. Then from from Michigan, we have 2075 Enigma Robotics, who uh, honestly had they at every event they've gone to, they've won the autonomous award, and I've seen and I can see why. Like this robot is very very accurate with their placement during Sandstorm. Then there's 3641 the Flying Toasters who were finalists on the Ford field, then 1718 Fighting Pi, who uh, won three events that they went to, and then also won the Michigan State Championship Chairman's Award. And then there's 3414 Hackbots, who were finalists on the consumer field, and then 862 Lightning Robotics, who were the winners of the Michigan State Championship. From Chesapeake, my home area, we have 1885 Ally Robotics, who is currently one of the only team from our area that uh, can do a rocket on their own if everything is working right. Uh, and then there's 1418 Best Victus, which is the most consistent rocket cycler in, from our district. And then we also have 4541 Cavaneers, who uh, were able to, who not only could score well, but they also played incredible defense, and that was able to get them a win at Chesapeake District Champs. Uh, then from it, from our visitors from Israel, we have 1574 Miss Carr, who had won won one event. In Israel, and then we have 3075, the Hadream team, who was not only the 2018 World Championships with 254, but also uh, won won the uh, Israel District District Champs. Then from New York, we have 694 Sty Pulse. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Yeah, Sty Pulse. Sty Pulse like High Pulse. Okay. <laughs> then <laughs> w- who are the original Suckbuck climbs? And had one event win and one finalist, and then we also have 340 Gur, who were two finalists and one first seed in their season. My my prediction for the end game, though, or for the winners, is actually 319, 2075, and 4541. If that if that is allowed to happen, that should probably win it. So take Tegan, what's going on in Tesla? Before we jump to Tesla, oh. before we uh, oh, before we jump into Tesla, <laughs> there's one t- one team from Daily that I want to mention uh, that I think a lot of people are sleeping on. And that is Team 120, uh, Cleveland's team from Cleveland, Ohio. Yes, that's uh, who I was going to mention. <laughs> well, sure. well, yeah, no, I, agree. I said it first. So, no. okay. well, well, we, we all agree with you. Yes. So they're, they're a super fast cycler. I think they're doing like 10 to 12 cycles a match. Um, definitely specialize more in cargo than hatches, but can do both. I believe they're, I don't know if they can go to level three um, on their on scoring. I th- they, I've can. Seen, they don't they can. do okay. it, but they can. Yeah. I've seen them do two, so I've, I just I didn't happen to watch any matches where they went to level three on the rocket, but um, so they're definitely the one that I wanted to pull out that I wanted to mention. Yeah, yeah. also worth mentioning that at their two regionals, they were a third round pick. They went under the radar um, completely in the first round, just because they don't do hatch panels. And if that happens again in this division that alliance is going to absolutely dominate. They're so good and they fly so low. Um, and they're just an incredible team that's going to make any alliance just an absolute powerhouse. Yeah, there's another team I want to call out here that we've mentioned a lot on the Nor'easter recap, um, 1922 Osram, mm-hmm. um, where they've really had a really stellar season, best they've ever had. Uh, ended up being a second-round pick late at New England District Champs, and that's that's pretty good. That's usually good enough to get picked on a division at Worlds. Um, and they're they've just been really strong this year, done really well at their two district events. So I need to I need to call them out here as someone to watch out for. Yeah, 
And this is like the first year that they've been good in a while. The last time they made champs was 20, 2010. Um, I was going to say, I remember them being good because they were on my field in 2010, and that's the last <laughs> time I heard of them. Like, I haven't heard of them for the past nine years. Yeah. Can I toss one more thing in there, too, for defense on uh, daily? Is that yeah. 4525 uh, Renaissance Robotics is definitely one of the strongest Canadian defense robot, probably one of the strongest in the world. They've got a smart drive team behind them. Their robot is, you know... It's hard to move around, and they know how to play the defense. So that's another team that you could see if they fall. Uh, they could either get picked super early as a defense robot or fall and uh, make any alliance really strong. So that's also something, just a little Canadian plug. Like, that's a team that could make a difference <laughs> on an alliance. One one more Canadian plug. Uh, 20, <laughs> uh, for my, this is my last team for the, is uh, 2200. Uh, I believe it's Mmm Rambotics. Mmm Rambotics, <laughs> yeah, you guys. <laughs> that is... Uh, they're another fantastic cycler coming out of Ontario. Mm-hmm. Um, they sort of fall under the, they're like just a step below your big five or six of your 20, 56, 11, 14, 54, 06, that whole group. They're like just a hair below them. Uh, they're not as fast, which is what killed them a lot of ways. They just don't have the speed uh, that a lot of the other, but so they're definitely one that could make uh, that if they can speed up their cycles a little bit, can uh, definitely uh, do some damage in the division. Uh, can I just give a quick shout out to 4096 Control Z because those guys play some really good defense and they're from Control Illinois. Sush. Get out of here, dirty Canadian. Qu- quiet, Canada. Yeah. This is America's time. All right. Then, uh, oh, uh, man. All right. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.